So I've come to the conclusion that retiring early is bull and we're all gonna work till the day we die, unless you're rich. I feel that I've done a good job at keeping my bills to a minimum. My wife and I are pretty good with money. We don't buy a lot of shit we don't need. And actually in the last couple of years, we've been downsizing and downgrading our lifestyle in order to try to save more money. We did well with our first home sale and then we also did well with our second home sale. And after selling our second house, we decided to rent from family for a little while in order to lower our bills and figure out what we're gonna do next. We own both of our vehicles outright. My personal vehicle is an old F-150. The interior is currently covered in mold because I haven't been driving it and it's just been sitting. That truck is just disgusting and I don't even plan on driving it. I'm probably gonna donate it or sell it for whatever I can get for it. And the vehicle that my wife drives is a very modest minivan. We bought it cash for like $19,000. Is this your ride? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to sit up high, check everything out. I mean, it is a Cadillac of minivans. And now that minivan has a serious repair bill. It's gonna cost us like four or five grand when it's all said and done. <laughs> And I'm just like, how do poor people manage? I grew up broke and I couldn't imagine what it would be like if I had to pay five grand to fix my car when I had no money. I have money now and I'm like, there's so much other stuff that I would rather spend $5,000 on than to fix minivan. It, it really got me thinking I'm in a good spot, but most people aren't. And even for me to consider what it's gonna take for me to retire early or retire in the next 10 years, it seems damn near impossible. And that's with money in the bank and a really good paying job and no bills and no debt and perfect credit and all those things. I'm still thinking like, man, I don't think that I can do it. And then I start to think, what about people that don't make a lot of money or have a bunch of debt or have a bunch of student loan debt and they're in a position where there is no way out and they're just constantly just trying to make ends meet. Inflation is through the roof. Home prices are through the roof. Rent is outrageous. People aren't making that much money. It seems like cost of living keeps going up, but wages stay the same. And even when you make more money, your dollar doesn't stretch as much as it used to. What's the point of working so damn hard all the time and trying to accomplish these things when it feels like it's just not going to happen? All the right things that everyone's always telling you to do in order to save money and prepare for the future, I've been doing and I've been working at for a while now. I consider all the time that I put in learning how to code in the last five years of working as a software developer as something that has been contributing towards the end goal, which is the early retirement or at least just not having to work until I'm 65 or 70 years old. And I think the best way to try to hedge your bet against against all this stuff is just create different ways to make money so that you don't have to work as long or as hard. There's compounding effects to all of this. Five years ago when I started working as a developer, I was making half of what I'm making now on my salary and I understand that as I make more money, I can save more money and I can invest more money and that money will grow faster. And then as I start side hustles and I create businesses, those businesses too will start slow and compound and then build up to something bigger. But man, the amount of effort and the amount of work that I've been putting in and the amount of time that has gone to doing these things that I wanna do has been a lot. I try to make sure that I don't sacrifice time with my wife and kids in order to put an in effort into the side hustles and in order to try to work on those other things. And it's just the balance is so off and it's just so difficult to get ahead and it's really just so much effort and then when I sit back and I look at everything that I've done, I'm pretty happy about where I'm at but when I realize how much more work it's gonna be to get to where I wanna be in the next five or 10 years, it feels impossible and I feel like giving up and I don't wanna make a negative video but I feel like a lot of these topics are things that we don't talk about because you see so many influencers that just wanna sell the dream because that's how they get paid and I'm I'm trying to live that dream and I'll tell you that it's hard, it's not easy, it's so much work, it's so much effort, it feels so out of reach, but I'm gonna keep putting in that work to try to get to that, hopefully, in the next five or 10 years and see how much I can build and see where I can get because I do enjoy putting in that work now and I've gamified it and I've made it like my hobby, which helps, but at the same time, there's other things that I'd rather be doing than making a YouTube video or than trying to brainstorm some app idea to try to sell or to figure out another blog to create to try to make some money with that. Do you know how many nights I've stayed up till one, two in the morning and wake up at 7 a.m. to get to work after I've worked all day, after I've spent time with my wife and my kids, after I've taken care of all my normal responsibilities that I get on my computer and I record a video or I research stuff and I try to learn new things and I start trying 
trying to brainstorm ideas and just that work that goes on behind the scenes that nobody sees, that nobody realizes. You don't know what it's like until you're in it, until you're trying to do it yourself. You can watch a hundred videos on people telling you how they learned how to code and got a job as a developer. You can watch a hundred videos on people talking about how they created a YouTube channel or how they created a website or how they created a SaaS product or how they created something that's generating them a ton of money. But you just don't realize how much energy and effort goes on behind the scenes until you set out to do it. Take it from somebody who's done the learning the code thing. Take it from someone who's trying to do the retire early thing and build the side hustles that it's a lot of work. And there's going to be so many times when you're going to feel like it's just not worth it. And I felt like that many times, but eye on the prize, keep trucking, keep moving towards the goal line. And eventually you'll get there or you'll fail, right? But at least you'll know that you tried because I'd rather fail trying than just not try at all. And I'm like, oh, three fifty cent right now. I'm going to get rich or die trying. And hopefully I can get there. Hopefully I can bring you guys along for the journey. It's a lot of work and I might be on this video bitching and complaining about it, but I know it's worth it. And I know that in the long run, I'll look back and realize that I'm glad that I did it. And I'm going to be happy that I that I set out to do it and accomplish it because I know I'll get there, even though sometimes it feels like it's never going to happen and I'm just going to work a nine to five until the day I die. But I refuse to let that happen. I don't want that for my future. I'm glad that I have that stability and security now. But the main goal is to get to where I want to be in the next five or 10 years, which is hopefully not working for someone and I'm making enough money through different streams of income to where I don't have to work a nine to five and I can focus my time and my energy on doing things that I enjoy and building businesses off of creative ideas that I have and not have to just clock in every day and code out some websites for companies that I'm working for. It's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. I'd rather be building up my own stuff and working towards building more and more of an empire. I hate when people say I'm building my empire, but the truth is that's what I'm going to try to do. With all that said, if you're grinding it out right now, if you're putting in that work, don't get too discouraged. We all go through it. We all have times when we feel like we're not going to make it. But as long as you keep working towards those goals, you can get it because that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to prove to you guys that it's possible. And hopefully that'll motivate more people out there to do the same. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.